okay i did remove this morning's video i was out of control i was stressy and that's not a not a way to be it isn't um i was also freezing cold which didn't help either um but i was really annoyed that there were now men on social media openly condemning men and giving women toxic women carte blanche to go after men realistically you know to sit there on social media and say attack us we deserve it you know and have all its go all his comments going yay stay toxic he deserved it it's all good blah 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 you know it it hurt me and it upset me and i shouldn't have yelled i shouldn't have screamed and i needed to calm down before i make any more videos um which i will endeavor to do from now on rather than make a video when i'm that stressed out i will endeavor to make sure i calm down <laughs> before I make a video about something that's upset me about things like this. Um, we shouldn't be condoning toxic women. Because if men behaved that way, if men treated women the way women want to treat men, pretending to cheat on them, if that happened to a woman and a man did that, can you imagine? how how much she would blow up on social medias telling the whole world how much of an ass he is and how not to go anywhere near him and how much she's going to find him and beat him and yeah she would and we know she would so the fact that he's condoning this behavior from a woman to go around telling men that they're going to cheat, pretend to cheat on them for not, what, for cancelling plans at last minute? I mean, that's toxic behaviour. And if a man got someone to phone his ex and pretend he's dead, I mean, that's a, to, fo to fake your own death, even as a prank, is serious. You can get in trouble for that with the law. Even if all you get is a slap on the wrist, you can get in trouble for that. So the fact that a woman has sat on social media and said that she will get somebody to phone her ex, her male ex, and, pre get, and pretend that she's dead and that he was the last one to see her. I mean, not only then is she committing a crime by you know, faking her death, even though it's a prank, you can't get a slap on the wrist for that, I'm pretty sure. They won't take, you know, they will, even if it's, she's issued a warning, you know, so don't do that again, you can be in trouble for it. He will then get in trouble as well. He'll get... You don't know what kind of repercussions that can have. You just don't. And it'll mess with his head. It could cause serious mental health issues. And if he had done it to her, can you imagine the backlash, if nothing else, the backlash that would happen? Again, she would be all over. You know, after the police had finished with the whole incident, because they would, they would be involved because they'd called the police. He's well, oh, no, he said he's dead, you know. Because if he actually called the police on that after that phone call and they got involved, can you imagine? It's not funny. It's serious. But if he did it to her and she called the police because he'd done it, he would get way more trouble than she did. See, the whole point about feminism is it's about equality for the people through the government a hundred years ago the government was all men there were no women in power there were no females in government okay in 2023 all around the world there are women in power 
I think even in 20, I think it was 2020, I don't know when it was, 20, I don't know, 2019, something like that. There was a point where even in Japan, they had a empress. I will have to look up the exact date because that will annoy me. But there was a point where even Japan had an empress. It might have still been in school, actually. It might have been year 11 or something. But yeah, there was a point where even Japan had an empress. There are now women in power all around the world. We are equal everywhere, right across the board. Nobody is better than anybody else. And we need to stop condoning these toxic women. We need to stop pandering to them. We need to stop encouraging them. We need to stop allowing them to have a platform. And we need to stop letting them think that they are so clever and so much better than everyone else. I think the only place that women are not equal is after we have had children. Once we've had children in the workplace, we become unequal in pay. That is it. That is where they that is where we are still a little unequal. There's a pay gap after we've had children. That is it. That is the only place where there's any inequality. <laughs> you know, but I'm pretty sure in the next three or four years that would have equaled out too. <laughs> in society, we have been conditioned to believe that men are men can't possibly hurt women. Well no, sorry. Women couldn't possibly hurt men. I think that's how it goes. Oh, yeah, right. Women couldn't possibly hurt men. But if we've learned anything in the last year from the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial, is that women cannot always be trusted. They can't. You can't always sit there and say, you must believe everything a woman says. Just because she says it doesn't mean it's true. And we can always say the same about men. Just because they say it doesn't make it true. The domestic violence rate is 50-50. Oh yeah. It's 50-50. Women are, and also, women, lesbians, a lesbian relationship, there is a higher domestic violence rate in lesbian relationships than there is in any other <laughs> the statistics are out there women are more abusive than men they're more capable of it than men because they get away with it more because men have been taught that because they're stronger physically scientifically it's been proven they are unless we like work out a lot and like can lift a lot of weights you know, they are physically stronger than us. And because of it, they've been taught not to hit women, not to do this. The problem is, women have never been taught not to hit men. When we're all little, when we're all little, and we've all it's all been said, right? Our sons, when you go to school, when you go to nursery, when you hit the playground, the first thing you are taught by your parents and by your teachers... Boys don't hit girls. But how many of you have heard the phrase, girls don't hit boys? Not many. And it needs to be done. As parents, we need to start equalising it. We need to stop telling our boys to hit girls, but we also need to start telling our girls not to hit boys. Because as far as I'm concerned, if they're going to beat the living daylights out of you, they're allowed to beat you back. <laughs> you know, we need to get to a point where women are held accountable for their actions. Toxic femininity, toxic feminism, toxic women need to be held accountable. And the only way that will happen is if men are allowed to be victims, which means that men need to stop this rhetoric that women are weaker than men therefore they can't possibly hurt a man 
therefore they couldn't possibly abuse men. Men need to stop that rhetoric because women can abuse men. They can do that. They're good at it. And also men need to stop this rhetoric that men cannot be weak because they can. There's a lot of people out there, men and women, that don't allow this concept of men being victims because women are the weaker sex. But we're not. We just find other ways. So stop it. We need to stop giving these women and these men who condone these actions a platform. We need to stop encouraging it and we need to start allowing men to be the victims if they are. Men are just as weak as women when it comes to abuse. And women are just as strong as men when it comes to abuse. It works both ways. And when it comes to making videos, I need to um, be calm, cool and collected. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't make sense and I just get angry. But yes, one thing I need to do is change my Facebook name. Because although it's under my name, I would like to change it once I work out how. It would be interesting to know if you've got any ideas as to what I should change it to. I have got a public profile on Facebook. Um, it is under my name, but I would like to change it to something else. So if you've got any ideas, it would be helpful to hear from. Anyway, I'm going to go. Um, so, yeah. I am sorry about earlier video. I was wrong. Um, I should never have made that video the way I was. Um, should have waited till I calmed down. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.